man with neo-Nazi belief counter protesters of a Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, last year was found guilty Friday of first-degree murder. James Alex Fields, Jr. plowed his 2010 Dodge Challenger into the crowd, killing 32-year-old paralegal Heather Heyer. A jury in Charlottesville deliberated for seven hours before convicting Fields, 21, a Nazi sympathizer from Maumee, Ohio. The jury also found Fields guilty of five counts of aggravated malicious wounding, three of malicious wounding, and one hit and run count. In all, 35 other people were wounded in the August 12, 2017 assault, which brought national attention and heightened tension between right-leaning activists and their critics. Fields' mother, Samantha Bloom, and Hire's mother, Susan Bro, were both in the courtroom when the verdicts were read. But both left without comment. Without comment. Fields, wearing glasses and a light blue sweater, showed no emotion as the verdicts were announced. He faces 20 years to life in prison for the murder charge. Sentencing is expected to begin Monday, when Bro and eight victims of the attack will provide testimony. A woman who was injured in the assault but survived said the verdict has made her feel the best I've been in a year and a half. Other victims embraced Hire's mother immediately after the verdict. White nationalist Richard Spencer called the verdict a miscarriage of justice and said Fields was treated as a terrorist from the get-go. Spencer questioned whether Fields could get a fair trial since the case was so emotional. Spencer popularized the term alt-right to describe a fringe movement loosely mixing white nationalism, anti-Semitism and other far-right extremist views. He said he doesn't feel any personal responsibility for the violence that erupted in Charlottesville. About a dozen civil rights activists who were outside the courthouse chanted in unison after the verdict that white nationalists will not replace us. It was a revised version of slurs shouted by white supremacist rally participants in 2017 who yelled Jews will not replace us. Charlottesville civil rights activist Tanisha Hudson said she attended the rally and saw the violence that day. She said she sees the guilty verdict as the city's way of saying, we will not tolerate this in our city. She says Charlottesville residents don't stand for this type of hate. As jury selection in the trial got underway earlier this week, Fields' attorney John Hill told a group of prospective jurors that Fields was in a panicked state during the attack and thought he was acting in self-defense. Fields has also been charged with 30 federal counts of hate crimes, which could result in the death penalty. That trial has not been scheduled. He has pleaded not guilty. I thank every last one of those jurors for doing what they needed to do. They they made the the they made the choice to express to the world like we don't stand for this type of hate at all. Like we just don't. I want to thank all of the victims for standing up and speaking out. I mean, we all a lot of us was there. A lot of us are still dealing with this. A lot of us still have to go home at night and cope with all that we saw that day. So just because he was found guilty, this is not over. This is not over. This is just a start to let people know, don't think that you can come here and do this type of stuff and get away with it, because we're not having it. They will not replace us. They will not replace us. Who's free?